Hello and welcome from all of us at Daxtra. This video will provide you detailed instruction of using the Vacancies option in Daxtra Search. In addition to being able to carry out searches and linking your candidates to a specific test sheet or shortlist, it's also possible to have the results linked to a specific vacancy within your database. Note that some companies will have this section labeled as Jobs or Recs instead of Vacancies. The first step will be to select the vacancy this is done via the Vacancies option at the top of the search screen. From here you will be able to search across the vacancies within your local system by typing in a search query that contains information about the vacancy like the job title or job ID into the search box provided. Once you have the search ready, simply press the search button and a list of all possible matches will be provided. There are several actions that can be taken against each vacancy. View will display all the information that's held against that vacancy within your database. Find Candidates will take you back to the original search screen, however this time you'll see that your search will be linked to the vacancy you have selected, as will any candidates that you shortlist. Match Candidates This will automatically read over the vacancy information and then produce a query using our intelligent engine to identify key terms within the job description. You will then be presented with a set of data that you can change if you like. The match criteria is broken down into four main areas. Job title, location, experience and skills. Each of these can be modified either through the use of typing in a new location or using the sliding scale to set a new experience amount. The job title and skills can be interacted with in a few different ways. By clicking the name of a skill you can remove that from the search as well as the semantic expansion attached to it. To view the natural expansion of terms, you can press the list icon. This will display the skills attached to that skill. By pressing on the same icon, this will open the semantic terms associated with each skill, and by pressing on the name again, these can be turned off and on. The level of importance of that skill can also be raised by selecting the required checkbox that raises the weight given to that skill on local candidate results. You can also view the vacancy details by simply clicking on the Show or Hide Vacancy Description arrow. Once you're happy with your selection, you can then press the Start Searching button. You will then be taken back to the main search page where you can further make changes on the job boards if you like. You will notice that you can go back to the match criteria or swap back to a free text search as has been previously detailed. In the Vacancy section, if a search has already been undertaken and you have results, you can then select Link to Results and this will allow you to shortlist to the specific vacancy of your choice. You can also select to unlink the search from the vacancy using the icon next to this. That's it for this section of Daxtra Search. You can learn more about watchdogs, personalized search defaults and more by reviewing other Daxtra training videos. And from all of us here at Daxtra, thanks again for your time.